Good fences make good neighbors. In the years since Robert Frost first penned those immortal words, many a fence has gone up and come down. Time's tough on a fence, but it doesn't have to be. With us this morning is Jeremy Isget from Stain Your Fence. So Jeremy, what's the process we're gonna be doing here today? Well, it's a three-step process. We're gonna clean the fence, uh, then we're gonna stain it, and then we're gonna stain it again. Older fences, drier like this, they soak up that first coat. We're gonna put another coat on top of it to brighten it up even more. What we use is a water-based chlorine to strip all the old gray stuff off of the fence. Chlorine on my fence, isn't that bad for the wood? It's, it's a light layer that we put on there. You kind of have to put bleach on there to kill the green that's in there. Uh, then we're gonna stain it. Because it's so much older and, and drier, it's gonna soak deep into the wood. Then we're gonna stain it again on top of that. Can this be done as a do-it-yourself project? This could be a do-it-yourself job. You have two options. You can buy really expensive equipment and do it maybe in a day, or you could just get regular rollers and roll it out, which should take you two to three days, depending on how much wood you have and the condition of it. What are we looking at for an investment on this? Well, it depends on how much fence you have, and it depends on the condition of the wood. Typically, what we charge is about $2 per linear foot. Your good fence may give you good neighbors, but with proper care, it can also give your home a great look for years to come. For Home Show Radio, I'm Charlie Mojo.